Cosmic Chemistry. I am really passionate about this one simply because this is where all the passion is within a relationship. So no doubt, you know, we've all felt that little spark or that, um, you know, amazing chemistry that happens when we first meet someone. And, as, you know, for most people, what can happen is that that dies off, whether that's a week, whether it's a month, whether it's a year, whether it's a couple of years later. But most people find that that chemistry dulls down and then generally, what is replaced with that is a deeper sense of love so it's not so much that lust and that oh my goodness crazy energy where you can't get enough of each other and all of that uh, but it generally settles for a deeper um, love however over time what can happen is that we then actually start to um, you know go separate uh, start to live separate lives or there starts to be a greater divide in the relationship as well so I, I really want to just take a little bit of time to explain the importance of polarity within a relationship. Now, when I speak about polarity, we've all got feminine and masculine energy. Now, some people have more masculine energy developed um, within themselves, and some people have more feminine energy de developed in themselves. However, uh, and even if uh, a female, um, she's not always 100% feminine in her core essence. She may be actually at the heart of it more masculine in her feminine, like in uh, as a female. And likewise for a man, um, that he may be more feminine in his core essence. So just depending on our gender, it doesn't really mean that we are that particular um, thing at our core essence. Now, where stress comes up for people is when they are continually living outside of their truest core core essence. So if you're a feminine woman who is really feminine at her core essence, however, you are highly focused, you are highly driven, you are highly successful and you're go, go, go and you're out in the world and you're dominating and you're, you know, making waves happen and everything else, you are predominantly going to be living in your masculine energy. Now, this is not a bad thing, however, when it comes to relationships and when it comes to your own health and well-being is are you doing it consciously? And this is where it's really, really, really important because my masculine energy absolutely serves me at times. I need my masculine energy for my business, um, for drive, for motivation, for focus, and lots of other things. And I love my masculine energy and I appreciate it so much. However, in a relationship with a man, oh my goodness, like I will challenge that man, I will butt heads with him because if he's a truly masculine man, that's what masculine energy does. It challenges each other it's like, yeah, well, I'm better than you. Oh, yeah, you want to see that? Or well, I'm right. <laughs> so that's what masculine energy does. It, it will butt heads and challenge each other. So not helpful if we're in an intimate relationship with someone. Now, particularly for single moms, I find that this can be really challenging or particularly if we've been independent or by ourselves for a long period of time, simply because we've had to be the protector and the provider for ourselves for such a long time or even for our children. And so this can really affect the energy that we're giving off when we are um, with somebody that we um, are either in a relationship with or we'd like to be in a relationship with. So we need to be able to more resourcefully tap back into our feminine energy and we do that so feminine energy just to explain is about softness it's about beauty it's about appreciation it's about nurturing it's about um, just that uh, luxurious feeling. So feminine energy is all about, say, appreciating, you know, eating a strawberry perhaps dipped in chocolate. And it's just like, oh my goodness, that amazing feeling. Or it might be being giggly and being playful and being lighthearted and carefree. And some of you might be thinking, oh my God, I haven't felt like that for ages. <laughs> and, uh, and there's a reason for that is because when we get stressed, a lot of the time the masculine energy will come up. Up to protect us with the feminine energy. Feminine energy is all about trusting and being vulnerable and opening. It's kind of like if you can imagine when people are in proper polarity, the woman walking in and it's just like that falling into the chest knowing her man has totally got everything and is totally taking care of her and anything else. He is her protector, he is her provider, he is everything. And in that moment, it's extremely vulnerable for 
for that particular woman and yet it's one of the most beautiful moments and that is where your polarity is found in your relationship and that is where all the chemistry is. Now I think as a society we're getting more and more challenged with being able to stay in our feminine energy simply as feminine women because we are out in the workforce, we are out either creating businesses or working at, at high level careers or doing different things and there's a lot uh, greater need to, to push and to for that masculine energy to come up during the day to be focused and motivated so it's when we get home about consciously changing our clothes into something soft something that makes us feel feminine whether it's a nice flowy dress whether it's taking our hair out if we're obviously I can't do that but taking our hair out uh, if we've had it in a ponytail it might be um, running yourself a bath it might be putting soft music on and just you know moving to the music nice and softly uh, it might be about you know um, taking some nice hand cream or um, and just you know rubbing that into your skin and nurturing yourself and taking care of you so um, polarity in relationship is absolutely key the more that we're in our feminine energy that will actually help our man to get more into his masculine energy if we came up and, and said to him you need to be more of a man you know that's very masculine energy and he is not going to take that well <laughs> and um and it means that you're in masculine energy if, if you're doing that as well so uh, believe me i've had lots of experience around this and in working through this and i have a beautiful partner in my life that truly understands how important it is to to for both of us to be in um in the right polarity for our chemistry and for our passion in our relationship as well and it's almost like flicking a switch in terms of chemistry uh, when the polarity is out the switch is off I can tell you it is just like yeah it is just not there it is not happening and what happens when we lose polarity in our relationship eventually over time we get into resentment we get into rejection we get into hurts we get into side comments or snarky comments um, at friends barbecues and things like that and gradually there's more and more hurt built up over time where then both partners are completely shut off to each other they're stonewalling each other they've got big walls up they're not communicating and of course that relationship is only ever going one direction so chemistry in relationship is absolutely powerful uh, I can say without uh, any word of a lie that oh my god like when the polarity is right between me and my partner it is just as exciting as the first day that we kissed and it is just as wonderful and just as amazing so this is something that we can take with us for the rest of our life it doesn't have to be the honeymoon effect uh, this is something that you can implement every day in your life to be able to live an outstanding relationship and of course with that authentic communication and creating the sacred space for you and your partner to communicate in that combined with uh, being in, in your polarity whether that's you know your feminine essence or whether that's your masculine essence whichever one that is for you at your true core essence that will make the biggest difference in your relationship uh, five love, love languages is also something super awesome to check out uh, five love languages.com is the website they've got a, a little test on there that you can do amazing stuff and I also highly recommend reading the book as well have an awesome awesome day have fun with it